Hey, it's okay, Mr. Calamistic. You may get your internet on your PC. You may get internet on your phone. Or if you're like me and you live way out in the sticks, maybe you get your internet by smoke signals. But no matter how you get it, by now you have heard about the new summer updates that are due out about July 10th or 12th, give or take. That's the current schedule, I do believe. And you've heard about all the new information and the cool, cool new changes that are being made to a lot of different things. First of all, we have some new fishing, and that's cool. We've needed some new fishing for a long time now for those interested in fishing. And we've got some additions to Monstrology. Monstrology, eh, that's not so much. I mean, some people like it. I personally have yet to even have a house guest. I mean, heck, I have yet to even have a monster doing in my house. Monstrology was one of the things that while I covered information about it, I just really never, I just, I just not just never really got into it. I don't know. Anyhow, they've got changes to Monstrology. They got changes to fishing. They got those cool little changes to chat where you can make the cutie cutie little emojis Aww. and impress your friends with your abilities, I guess. I'm not quite sure what the chat changes are for other than to make people who don't really want to type able to not have to type. That's all well and good. That's all cool. But as you can see, I've been circling the arena here like a busy bee. And I'm doing that for a reason. What I really want to talk about in this video is the changes to PvP. So far, they've been met with mixed reviews from all the people that I know. Some people think they love them. Some people think they hate them. And some people, well, and I am really one of them, are just undecided. And there's a reason for that. On the face of it, the PvP changes seem like they're great. They've addressed some long-needed issues that they needed to address, namely and most importantly, the boosting thing. Supposedly, they've got a fix now where the boosting will become no more, all scores will be legit, all scores will be worked for, and there will be no more cheating to get a high rank. You will not be able to own the leaderboards just because you have some characters. Let me... But will you? <gasps> Let's think about this for a minute. The way that people PvP... There's a couple of different methods for PvP boosting. That's true. But the one that I'm aware of is where you take a couple of teams of people, you, because you have multiple accounts, and you face those multiple accounts against each other, either in really, really late night 1v1, which I think is kind of hard these days because 1v1, well, it just has too many people playing 1v1. Or in 2v2 or even better in 4v4 because there's not really so much 4v4 anymore. And this is how I learned about boosting, how it was shown to me as being done. A fellow has eight different accounts and he loads them all into his computer at the same time and 4v4 is himself, and that's how he gets his rank. Switches his high levels back and forth, that kind of thing, so that his low levels pick up some big, fat rank. That's all well and good. Well, in as much as is boosting is all, in all well and good. The thing is, though, the way that they have decided to cut out the PvP boosting is to introduce a time interval to where you can't fight the same opponent again within a certain time limit. Now that's all well and good, right? Seems like a legit strat to keep people from doing it, doesn't it? But I don't really think so. Here's why I don't think this method of controlling boosting is going to work. It's as simple as this. Actually, not only does it hurt the legit players, but it doesn't even stop the boosters. If you can have eight accounts and boost a 4v4, who's to say you can't have 12 accounts or 16 accounts or as many accounts as you want. Most of these people who are PvP boosting, guys, they've got time on their hands and money to spend. And that's what they, they're PvP boosting with because it takes that many different accounts to boost. Now, the time, the time interval is all well and good, but if you have 20 different accounts, all you've got to do is run the first team and then a, se a different second team and then a different third team, etc., etc., etc. I'm not a mathematician, so I can't tell you how many possible combinations there are. Say you had 24 accounts, and they were all, just, you know, you're not really leveled up or anything. You're just, they're just 24 paid for accounts. 
Think about it for a minute. Okay, sure, you face your first team first, and then you can't face them for a time interval. Sure. Then you move on to your second team. Well, you haven't faced them yet, so you can still face them again. Same thing, you got a third team, same thing, you face them again. And if you're only doing 2v2 boosting, then you've got a whole buttload of teams that you can draw on. And I think that that pretty much nullifies the time interval. Okay, by the time you're on your last team, say you've got eight teams, 16 people. By the time you're on your last team, you can run your first team again because the time interval will be over and you can still boost. Okay, so I, I'm not really seeing where this is an effective update. Not only can you run eight teams or more, or more and still continue to boost, but the time interval actually, I think, will hurt regular, serious, legit players. Say you're here on a Tuesday afternoon. Oh, I, you know, I'm going to pick the worst case scenario because I want this video to look better. <laughs> I do. Okay. Let's pick the worst case scenario. Say you're here on Tuesday afternoon during the school year and you want to play. Okay. Well, great. You fight the one or two people that are here as well claiming to be sick home from school or claim, calling off work claiming to be sick, whatever the case may be. But then you run into, well, you don't have any matches because you've already faced those people and they were quick matches. You put the smack down really, really fast and now you're left with a long queue because there's only half a dozen or a dozen or whatever people here in the PvP arena at this time. So now instead of, you know, being able to pick up a match every few minutes, now you're looking at more time even than that because you've already fought the people who are here at this time and you've got nobody left. I think this is originally what happened with 4v4. If, you, if you've played much PvP, you'll know now. Ranked 4v4, let's face it, is, in my opinion, is pretty much dead. And it's dead because, well, a 4v4 match ranked, especially if you've got people who know what they're doing, man, that thing can take all your life. You grow a beard waiting for this match to be over. Straight up, you grow, you grow old. Okay? And people don't want to spend two hours to win one ranked match. You know, they don't want to spend an hour or whatever, whatever the, the time interval would be, you know, that it takes away that particular match. They don't want to spend a forever time to win a match, which also means... For a 1v1 rank, they're, go they're not going to want to wait forever because they've already defeated the few people that are here during those really, really slow times. And now they got to wait for the time interval to run out or to somebody else to join or something to go along. I think that all in all, this particular PvP update needs a little bit of tweaking. The, the, they meant well and, and they, they had a good heart. They really did. you you got to give them a cheer there. But I can see some holes in this right now, and I'm not even a super, super strategist for PvP. If I'm not, and I can see the holes, guys who do it all the time are going to see some big old Swiss cheese holes up in this game. And they're going to exploit. Because that's what they do. I mean, if they weren't exploiting, they wouldn't be boosted in the first place. That's just how it goes. Alright, so that's one of the PvP changes that... <sighs> I don't know, boys. We're going to have to see how that works out because I'm thinking it's just a little bit not going to make it. Just not going to make it. Now they've also got a couple of other things. They've got the new daily rewards for PvP. Where are you? Okay, I think the first one was, whenever I remember looking at it was, the first one was win a ranked match. Cool. All well and good. You're getting extra rewards for playing PvP and doing what you do anyway. And if you've got even half of a mouse brain, you can win a PvP match. No problem. Here's where the problem comes in. I have noticed over the past several years, and maybe King's Isles noticed it too, and this is, the, this is their attempt to recoup some of that, but I've noticed over the past three or four years, there's a lot more and a lot more and a lot more free-to-play players who are hanging out in the commons and they're doing whatever they can do without spending any crowns or without getting a membership. Maybe they want a membership, maybe they want crowns, they can't afford it. Maybe they just don't want to spend the money and would prefer to play for free, what have you, whatever the reasons. There's a lot more free playing players than there used to be. 
Okay, so far as I know, the daily rewards are only for rank matches. So far as I know. The rewards are for playing ranked PvP. Well, you've got to have crowns to buy a day pass, or you've got to have a membership, or you've got to be totally, totally crazy and pop out that 80 crowns every single time you want to have a match. That one's that one's just crazy. I'm just crazy, crazy. That's like crazy eye crazy right there. All right. But the point of the whole thing is the, the PvP rewards, guys, the PvP rewards are for the paying players. Now, I don't know if King's Isle did this by design with the rank play thing. You know, they're trying to draw some more memberships in. They're trying to draw some more crowns in. It would make sense. They're a business. You know, that's what they would do. But I don't think that's going to work out how they planned. Uh, I think that, sure, they're going to be given some extra rewards, but I don't think that you're going to see people. People who aren't looking to pay for this game are not going to be persuaded to pay for this game by a few daily rewards, even if there's some cool spells in there. I mean, even if you get some cool gear. Okay, if they were going to pay to play to get the cool spells and the cool gear, they would have done it already. So, that update, the, the daily rewards thing is, that's a cool little fun thing. But I am not <laughs> taking that baby to the stock market or to the bank and trying to get some cash up out of it. Because it's just not going to work. Not going to do it. Okay, the other thing that I want to talk about is the Dispel Shields, the new Dispel Spam fight that they're having here. <sighs> I've got to say, I don't really, nobody actually, let's face it, nobody who's faced a Dispel Spammer likes a Dispel Spammer. They don't. They're, they're like the stinky guy at the party you try not to invite, who somehow managed to slip in the back door and isn't here anyway. I'm sorry, guys. Sorry for all you dispel spammers. I know somebody's giving me the dirty look right now. I'm just, I'm feeling the neck burning right now from that big, fat, stink eye that I'm getting. I know it. I am. It's all right. Be, go easy on me. Don't beat me. Don't beat me. Please don't beat me. Anyhow, I'm feeling that the dispel spam shield thing, it's, again, on the face of it, it's a pretty good idea because people hate fighting dispel spam. But. I've got to say that it seems like whenever they make a change to stuff like this, it doesn't seem like that it's a... Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to come out and say it. It doesn't seem like that it's a balanced change for everybody. It seems like it targets one school or another. A little while back, when they made the changes to critical, and they took away the double damage critical and made it 25% critical, and then they changed that again because they realized, oh, wow, we are killing people here. They ain't getting no critical. You know, they ain't doing no damage. They're, they're sweating it. And they raised it back up to 30%, which I still don't think that was all big, all big of a raise. Okay, what the critical loss did, let's face it, storm and fire. Damage is their bread and butter. They don't have a lot of life. They don't have a lot of resist. What they've got is raw, put the pip slap down, damage on people. Critical was one of those key factors to that. Sure, you got damage, but boys, if you can do even more, let's do even more. You know what I'm talking about? I was one of those. I relied a lot on Critical because Critical turned my little tiny love tap into a beatdown. A straight up beatdown. And when they took Critical away, I was like, well, man, I don't know if I want to PvP with my Storm anymore because, you know, it ain't getting it now. I, I, I lost Critical, but I didn't gain anything back for it. You know, I didn't gain some more resist. I didn't gain some more life. I still got the same character I had. I just had something taken away. That's what I feel they've done here with the Dispel Shield things. Now, <sighs> Dispel Spam isn't just limited to balance, but they're the ones that do it a lot. I feel like the Dispel Spam thing is going to be targeting mostly balanced players. And, <sighs> well, putting that hurt there. That's what I feel like. I mean, I know that it's not just balance that dispels spams, but it's... Well, when you think of Dispel Spam, you do think of Balch. I do, at least. All right. So I'm thinking that Dispel... Uh, the, the Dispel Shields are all well and good on the surface of it, but that update really only targets certain areas, certain schools. It doesn't really... It doesn't really universally align or change or help play. I, I don't think... Not universally. It helps play, but it helps everybody who's not doing it. <laughs> that, that's really what I'm, what I'm getting at. So I don't know about that one either, boys. I mean, so far, we're, we're three for three on the I don't know about it. Totally. 
totally. I said totally. <laughs> they asked for California. Totally, dude. Yeah. No, anyway. The other thing that they have done so far as the PvP thing goes is the turn base in tournament. Yes and no, guys. Again, it's that it's the it's without targeting certain things. And I think what they've done, actually, when I think about it with these updates, what they've done is they've targeted or addressed the things that other players most complain about who aren't doing them. The turn-based thing. Okay, what's that going to mess up? Well, a lot of people complain about how they lose going from second. But what are they losing to? People who are losing going from second are losing to Dispel Spammers. They are losing to Juju players. Basically, the people who are going second are losing to fail strats. Things that make the other player fail, either their cast or their damage or any of that. Okay, so that's really what the turn-based thing is addressing. It's addressing fail strats. And again, all of these things are really... They're really targeting certain areas, I think, and that's all well and good without really unilaterally evening the playing field. I personally think here, you want an update for PvP, King's Isle? Let me give you a nice close-up eye to eye here, okay? Right there. You want to fix PvP? Take, Take out, out Shadow, Shadow magic. magic. One more time now. You can't see my lips moving because my teeth are kind of stuck together, but here we go. Take out Shadow Magic. Go back to the basics with PvP. I think that you will find that if you ever made any kind of an update, that will be the update that is most approved by all. Okay? I think, really, I haven't heard anybody who doesn't want that. Who doesn't want to get rid of Shadow Piss. I mean, any real serious pvp -er. I can't think of anyone who doesn't want that. If you want to make some changes, do something like that. Give it a universal thing the taking away a shadow magic doesn't take away all the damage from one school. It doesn't take away all the resist from one school. It doesn't take away a particular strat from any one school. But let's talk about it. Let's do something that is universal. You did a fine job, Kings Isle. Guys, yes, trust me. I, you know, I'm with you. I, I feel your pain. And I got a lot of love for you. Because you tried to address the problems that people are complaining about. But that's how we got here in the first place is you try to address the problems that people were complaining about. That's how crit went down, because people were complaining about Storms doing too much damage and being one-hit killers. People are still complaining about Shadow Magic because it's the same thing. It's a one-hit, one-kill. Slam, bam, thank you, man, one shot, done. A 10-second match and on to the next one. Which we can't do now because, well, now we have a time interval. We can't face anybody else for a little bit with that same name, what have you. So yeah, we, we've you're working on you're working on Kings Isle. You're good guys. You really are. You got a good heart on it, but we're not there yet. So yeah, the PVP changes here on the face of them. If you don't think about it really good and you just listen to the words and you or, or you read the words or whatever, seem like they're really good. But I think we're still not there. I think we're still going to have a little bit of problems down the line. Guys, what do you think? I invite you to leave a comment in the comment section of this video and tell me what your opinions, what your thoughts are on the changes. I look forward to reading them and hanging out with you. All right, guys, that is it for this one. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, a good heart smash as well. Subscribe, share, and yell my name to everybody you know because I would love to see more of you around here. Until next time, this is Skeleton Mystic reminding you that whatever else you do, always love the game. Peace. Hey, what's up, I'm Skull Mystic. I am here today in Avalon. I've already done the fishing quest line, but I had to come back for more because I wanted to see what all fish Avalon had to offer this time. And let me be the first to tell you, folks, this place has fish to offer. There is fish in every water hole, well, 